Part three of the Nebula build starts now. So my hope is to get the radials out today. However, as you can see, my grass is kind of tall. So I gotta mow it first. And just like that, presto. The yard is ready for some radials. So you guys might remember this from a prior video. Restore find 14 gauge stranded copper. I'm going to use this for my ground radials instead of the DX10. I'm going to try anyhow. I'm going to start with it. Uh, it shouldn't be an issue. It's just wire. Uh, because I'd rather keep the DX10 that's meant for radials as a replacement uh, wire for elements for the future. I mean, I'm sure I'll mess something up or, you know, it'll, uh, an element will eventually need to be replaced and I'd rather do it with DX10 than something else. Better to have it in stock, especially since I got this uh, cheap in comparison to what it should be. Okay, so before I commit to using this 14 gauge and just start pulling lengths on it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a piece and then I'm gonna strip it. Actually, I'm gonna cut a couple of pieces and or maybe just the one and strip it and see how many of these I can fit in one of those fork terminals. Um, move that aside. Uh, Callum was fitting, uh, let's see, this is stranded, that's 14. Callum uh, on the instruction says uh, he fits somewhere between four and six of DX10. Uh, I haven't opened my DX10 yet, so I don't know what gauge wire it is. I expect it'll be thinner than this, so I want to make sure that at least a couple of these fit per, per fork connector. So there we go, I uh, probably shouldn't have twisted them. If I do this with 14 gauge, I'm going to be able to run two, maybe three super tight, although I don't expect that I'll be able to run three per fork connector, which means instead of uh, doing uh, uh, 10 meter runs I probably need to be looking at making 20 meter runs on my radials so uh, let me see what kind of room I have in the yard and we'll figure it out okay so I did some measuring on the yard and 10 meters is definitely doable 20 meters is doable in parts of the yard and 5 meters is doable in other parts so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the hardware store and uh, buy some of these so these are just uh, splicers. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed, I'm gonna put two tails on, on a fork, and then each tail is gonna get a splice, and then each splice is gonna get two runs. So that way I'm doubling up and getting it with four runs per fork after the splice uh, is accounted for. So again, it's gonna be two coming into the fork and then out of that each one of those is going to get a, spl a butt splice on it with two and one so you know this comes from the fork on one end you know the fork is on the other and then there's going to be two uh, radials coming off of here you know to show you that every once in a while you have to double check yourself I went to the store looking for some 3M Temflex. They didn't have it, so I bought some Super 33. Can always use it, right? No big deal. Bought the the, the butt joints, the butt uh, splices uh, that I was talking about, which were a great plan until I did the math. I don't need this. So I'm going to go back to the store some other day and return this. But for now, you know, if you do the math, there's 15 ground lugs on the, driven, on the uh, ground plate. And uh, if I put just two 33-foot long uh, radials on each, I'm looking at 990 feet, which is drastically more than 100 meters, uh, drastically more than the 500 feet that I have in this spool. So, yeah, I'm just going to make some radials that are 33 feet long. I'll make probably, uh, I don't know, 10 sets at 33 uh, a pair of 33s each, and then I'll make a few sets that are five meters long, uh, and then uh, I'll make a few sets that are 20 meters long just because I have the room for it and I have the cable, I have the wire, I should say. So 
that's what we're gonna do next. Uh, I'll show you the one and then, you know, I'll do the magic of YouTube editing and bam, done, right? So how I like to do these things is, I don't have one of those fancy counters like Cal does or many other people do, but here's what I do. I have a 100 meter measuring tape from the hazard fraud. You can do this with, you know, even a five foot one, right? All you have to do is match these two up, pinch them together. I'm using a, just like a pony clamp. And then I'm just gonna, just gonna pull wire and keep the tape next to it. Once I get to whatever measurement I wanna use as my basis, so in this case, I'm gonna use uh, 33 feet or 10 meters. I will cut it and then that wire will become my de facto standard for the rest of this project, right? And then you can see that this is graduated in inches on one side and meters on the other, centimeters on the other. So three meters 90, we're at almost four, almost at four meters here. I am now at 10 meters, right? So I'm ready, am I ready to cut? No, because I know I'm a knucklehead. I'm going to mark this with another clamp. If they match, then I'll cut it at the clamp and life is good. So now that I've measured twice, now I'm gonna cut. Old cliche, but you know what? It's true. Measure it a couple of times before you commit to it. When I measured it the second time, you know, these are radials. These are not critical measurements, right? My wire was short by a few inches and I just extended it on the second try. So now I'm just gonna use the original as the template and I'm gonna spool out a few more uh, 10 meter sections. And just like that, almost 500 feet of 14 gauge stranded wire is pulled out for radials. I ended up making uh, 10 sets, or I should say 10 runs of 10 meters and 10 runs of five meters. Uh, it'll accommodate what I have in the yard available. And then, you know, now that I have the grounds, uh, ground radials uh, pulled out, I'm gonna go ahead and measure and cut the uh, uh, elements. As you might expect with almost 500 feet of uh, 14 gauge in my garage in set aside piles, there's a lot of wire in here. So instead of, uh, instead of going ahead and cutting the elements, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep and terminate these uh, uh, radials and then move them outside so that I can, you know, my brain is clear enough to, to go, okay, that's an element and that's not. I mean, it's pretty obvious there are different cables on different wires, but again, it's just one of those mental checklist type things where, where I know I'm better off uh, just doing it this way for me. You do you. So I'm just gonna prep a couple of these. There we go, we're warming that up. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some uh, Ross in on this, some flux, I should say. Flux works awesome. So I tinned both of the wires for this radial jam them up in this connector and put a little bit of flux on here because it makes it go better. And I'm gonna repeat this for all the ground radials. And just like that, 10 sets of radials, five and 10 meters, five and five meters, heat shrink on them, soldered on, nice and pretty, focus. So now that I have these done, I'm gonna move these outside and then I'm gonna cut the elements. Let me show you what I'm doing to ballpark the field of radials. I'm using a tent stake. Anyhow, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm splitting the bundle of wires over the tent stake and then I'm running the bundles, uh, the, the wires out so that I can figure out what's going on. Let me show you what I'm doing here. So this is the last of the 10 meters um, wire bundles. As you can see, that I just straddled the tent stake, and now I'm gonna lay it out. Mind you, I have ground stakes that I'm gonna use to pin all this cable down so that I don't mow over it, so I don't you know, get it caught in the mower when I mow. Uh, I'll get those in a second. This wire intersects uh, a pathway if I were to lay it out in a straight line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compromise and not lay it out on a straight line. Follow the pathway with this uh, wire so that I don't have to cut it. And that's a six inch yard stake. Bought a thousand of these for the project and I have about 700 left. So uh, if you wanna buy a couple hundred of these, let me know, I'll make a good deal on them. All right, gang, part three of the Nebula build is complete. Part four, 
Four, yeah, four. In a few days. <laughs> Catch you guys then, 7-3.